What is up guys? Welcome back to another awesome episode of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. As you can see here we're at the main menu and we have a new looks like update right here in blue. It says warning old campaign saves and old ship designs are incompatible. It is mandatory to clean up shared designs manually. That's not good. I really haven't read through what they've done. So uh I yeah. I'm just hoping that we don't have to start all over again. Let's hit the close button. Continue campaign. All right, here we go. All right, well, it looks like it loaded okay. At least uh, no major issues. So I guess we get right into it. As you can see down here, it is September 1914. And we are still working down here on this Haiti. Looks like we have 152, almost 153,000 tons there now. So we should succeed. We have 70% chance. Pretty much everybody's there. I'm thinking this last one that's showing up. Also, over here, I sent uh, the fleet uh, from San Diego, San Francisco, and Seattle to Pearl Harbor. And then we kind of consolidated there, refueled, and now we're moving down to Pago Pago. The reason for that, if I can get down over here, is because we are going to be at war with Germany here real soon. And I don't want them so close to me. So... I'm going to bring my fleet down here to Pago Pago in anticipation of taking Al Ap Appia. We'll come up here to the Mediterranean. And as you can see here, my Mediterranean fleet, a rather large fleet, is moving towards the Suez Canal. My one submarine is also moving over here in support of this fleet. Move to the Asian Theater. I have this fleet. It is comprised of a couple battleships now, a couple heavy cruisers, a couple destroyers, and one light cruiser. And we're going to come up here... Well, I was going to be coming up here. There was a, a German um, a German province up here somewhere. And I forget where it was. But as you can see here, we have lots of German ships. We also have Peleliu here. So they're going to be active, I think, if this war kicks off with Germany. All right. Let's go through the tabs really quick. Let's hit the politics tab. As I said before, here we are. We are actually way off the bottom now. What are we, number five? Yeah, we're number five off the bottom now. Our relationship with Great Britain has gone down significantly. We're still allies with France. And look how close we are to war with Germany. Russia is right on their heels at negative 57. Italy is at 27 plus. That's great. Austro-Hungarians are negative 47. We're about to be allies with Japan. And the rest are pretty much neutral. Top dog is the British Empire once again. Followed closely by France. Finances, we're doing really good. 117 million in the black. Everything is maxed out, and we're just cranking away at this, this these naval funds here. Research, not a lot has changed, and we have uh, a couple things coming close, like uh, internals protection here, and cruiser a new cruiser design. Ship design, nothing has changed. The fleet, quite a few things have changed, actually. We've added quite a bit, so a lot of things are finished. I don't think we have anything being built right now. Everything is ready to go. Submarines, I did build a couple more. As you can see here, they're gonna be five more months for these two, and these ones are commissioning right now. So the only thing we need to do is, I, I got a feeling this next turn, we're gonna to go to war with uh, Germany. Let's go in October. All right, so the tensions have increased between the German Empire and us for our presence in the Southeast Asia, the Gulf of Mexico, close. Oh, they have sent us an ultimatum. So the ultimatum states, German Empire has sent us an ultimatum demanding to withdraw our fleet from its operating near, near their borders, claiming that it threatens their trade lines with neighboring countries. The government requires your advice on how to reply. We can say this is an absolute disgrace. We should never accept this. If they want war, then so be it. That'll give us a lot of prestige, a lot of unrest, and we will go to war with, with, German, with the German Empire. It is not a good time to provoke the German Empire. We have to obey and compensate. We have to obey and compensate for their losses. For now, that's not an option. We're not paying them. Or perhaps if we offer German Empire a generous compensation, it will soften up our relations. Yeah. No. No. There's only one option here. We're going to war. And there we go. We are now at war with. Uh, well, yeah. We are now at war with the German Empire. Our relationship between the British have gone up a little bit, Germans down, pretty much everybody up, so there you have it, we're at war. We lost 209 soldiers in Cuba. Oh wow, so Venezuela uh, 
apparently we need to go take that place. We'll do that, yes. Okay, intervention. United States attack against Venezuela caused a major disturbance in the following nations. Soviet Union minus 10. Good. So I'm thinking that once this is wrapped up here, wow. <laughs> Hopefully we can get down here and um, take care of business here. I think the first thing we need to do is actually invade this little providence right here. Go into our politics tab. We're going to do a naval invasion. Choose a province. Ooh, that's not on the list. Well, I don't know. Like, I know we're going to use a split here real soon to attack them. I just want to see where their provinces are exactly. So, which ones was it? Western Samoa and the Marshall Islands. I was just looking. The Marshall Islands, I thought, were in this area. Like, is that considered the Marshall Islands? That's the Marianas. Uh, <laughs> they're not very well labeled here. And Western Samoa is also in this area. I was just kind of looking around for them to see exactly where they are. But, you know what? It doesn't really matter. Let's just pick one of them and we'll invade it. Choose Providence. We're going to go after the Marshall Islands. Yes, 100,000 tons. There we go. So, I was kind of hoping it would put up one of those conquest things. I think it might be over here. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it on this little list. It might be the next turn. It'll show it to me. All right, finances. We are really in the black now. Research, not much has changed. Ship design, nothing has changed. Fleet, again, nothing has changed. Submarines, we got those ones rolling now. Uh, four more months, five more months for these two. So we, uh, oh, cancel. We can send some of these out just to like patrol and maybe that's what we'll do. Let's look at that really quick. See if we have any. Here, I forget where they're at and I could have just looked. Let's do that really quick. Submarines. Okay, we got one of Pearl Harbor, Manila, Boston, and Seattle. Well, let's look at these um, coastal ones here first. Pearl Harbor and the Philippine Sea, Dav Davio. Come out here to Pearl Harbor. Oh yeah, we got plenty here. So we'll move submarines. We're actually gonna move submarine here and we'll move over here. The other one just offshore. There we go. I think I said I had one in Seattle. And I do. Move submarine. It's going to bring it out here. Move the one from Boston out there as well. I think that was all the uh, ones that were here. Yeah. Got a couple down here supporting all this. Okay. Let's see if we can get in a fight over here now. Zoom in on the eastern Mediterranean. Move our ships here to intercept. There we go. I also set this submarine to roll unrestricted. And apparently... Uh, they're very aggressive, but we run the ro run the risk of sinking neutral ships, which could hamper our relationships with our people. Or restricted, which is they're not nearly as in as uh, aggressive, but the attack power is significantly increased, or something. So anyway, close. So we have this fleet here, and it's going to roll towards um, wherever this new battle's going to kick off at. Uh, let's get these submarines out here too. Move submarines. We're actually going to go after those guys there. I think that'd be fun. Oh, no we don't. Oh, uh, is it too late? I just saw this fleet. What does this fleet consist of? It's one light cruiser. What is this one? One heavy cruiser. Yeah, we'll go after the heavy cruiser. I'm not worried about a light, a single light cruiser. What's this one here? One battleship and two light cruisers. And it looks like he's coming around to meet me. Good for him. But I'm going to take this fleet. It's pretty beefy uh, to the Marshall Islands, I believe, is what we said we were going to take on. So, all right, next turn. All right, here we are in November. Looks like the British are running into mines. Transport losses. Let's see if we lost any. I did not. Great. Looks like France has in invaded southern Germany. Good on you, France. All right. Here we go. We're going after the Marshall Islands. Okay, borders change. Battle of Cuba. In the Battle of the Marshall Islands. Okay, where is this battle taking place? The naval invasion. Here we go. Yeah, it is on the side. All right. Move ships. Go. And that should be plenty to do that submarine. Oh, so it spotted a submarine, huh? Very cool. My submarine in. Moving our fleets around, dancing around each other. All right. Let's see what else can we do. That other fleet that was up here, that battleship, he was hooking around this way. Maybe he was coming this way. There's a Providence there. Kind of want to see where he went. There he is. We'll chase after him. We can catch up to this uh, heavy cruiser here. All right. We have a little protection in all these ports over here, which is great. We get some submarines and stuff placed around, moved around. We also need to think about refitting 
our ships. If we go to our ship design here, they're all 1910, and this one's 1911. And I said in the last video that every five years we're going to do a refit, and some of these ships are getting pretty old as far as their technology goes. So I would like to actually start designing that real soon, but now that we're in war, I don't want to pull ships out of the out of the fight to refit them. So we might have to wait until after the war to do that. Fleet, nothing has changed. Submarines, nothing has changed. Uh, building in four months on those ones in battle. That's awesome. Uh, research, a couple things coming up. Cruiser design, internals protection. That's about it that I'm seeing. Hull protection coming up here soon. Hull strengthening. Finances, we're making bank. Politics, come down to where we are. If I can, grab that. There we go. So I'm thinking about, I got a feeling if we become an ally of Japan, they're going to want a bunch of money, and I don't want to pay for it. We don't have any minor alliances to make money off of, so I, I'm very hesitant to become friends with somebody that's going to ask for you know hundreds of millions of dollars. So in the meantime, I'm just going to let it go. I'm not going to improve relationships or decrease ten, increase tensions with anyone. So, next turn. All right. War has erupted between the Italian Empire and the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Our relationship with the Italians have gone up and have gone down with the Austro-Hungarians. Our 15,000 ton heavy cruiser hull design is done. Yay. Cruise salvage program 3. That's good. Transport losses. I don't think I have any. Oh, I do. Two transports in the region, region of the Southeast Asia. Bomber. Close. Terrible accident. The unrestricted submarine warfare of the British of the United States has caused the following losses to British Empire by accident. One transports a civilian ship. See, that's what I was talking about. It's an unrestricted warfare, military conflict. The people of Libya take arms to try to get control of, I guess that's Tripoli, that is currently occupied by the Ottoman Empire. Tripolitina? Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, Battle of Cuba. We lost 166. They lost a bunch. Uh, Battle of Martial Art Islands. Ooh, we lost a bunch, and they didn't. The Germans did not. We'll take a look at that here in a second. So anyway, here's where that accident happened. Once again, because oh, oh, where is this at? This is the Eastern Mediterranean. Yeah, fight it. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I want to control the submarine. Auto resolve. Draw. Submarine's not detected. We damaged a destroyer. That's good. Close. Okay, so this submarine sunk a um, German submarine, I believe, or no, it was a German uh, civilian transport ship, and that's not so great. So, all right, we need to, like, fight these guys. They're right here, and I want to flex my muscles. I want to show the world what my fleet can do. Is this one wrapping up soon? No. Hopefully this one doesn't time out before this one's done, but honestly, I'd rather have uh, Cuba here. Is it Cuba? Yeah, I'd rather have Cuba here than Venezuela. So if that one times out, oh well. It's not the big big deal. Let's see, our fleet should be getting close over here. Try and zoom in to get it centered. Here we go. So yeah, now we have plenty of tonnage there. This should be a no-brainer, hopefully. Looking around for any German shipping. That might be over here. Not seeing any. I'm gonna turn these guys on. Unrestricted, there we go, close. Unrestricted, select, close. There we go. Kinda looking around, seeing where my enemies are. They're in red. The German fleets. There's a lot of them. Looks like our submarine... Oh, get out of there. Wow. Looks like our submarine force here, I, it's pull, popping up screens I don't like. Uh, I don't need to see that screen, whatever screen that is. I need to see the one behind it, because I'm curious as to what that says. Um, I'm guessing that is our single submarine against their fleet. We're going to move this fleet in to assist. They're not going to get there in time, but they need to get there anyway. We're going to move them there, and we're going to make them go unrestricted as well. All right. Well, the only thing we have to do is go into 1915. We have more enemies lurking for a chance to enter the war against us, as it seems the press in their countries is 100% against us. Uh, that's common. Yep. Red Cross urges the German Empire and our nation to accept the exchange of prisoners. The government asks your opinion on this matter. You agree for an exchange? Ooh, why does it cost so much? That's a no. We do not negotiate with our enemy. I'm not paying for it. All right, we have a battle. Finally, let's fight it. I feel sorry for these two ships, but let's see what we can do. Battle. All right, we're going up against one German heavy cruiser and one light cruiser with our two battleships, our two heavy cruisers, 
one light cruiser and three destroyers start battle. All right, so it has been a while since I have played this, and I may get a few things wrong here. <laughs> That's my disclaimer up front. So I'm going to angle these battleships off this way, and let's see, these are our heavy cruisers. We're going to angle them kind of this way. I've got a feeling they're right in front of us. It says the enemy smoke was spotted to the southwest. And that should be right in front of us, yeah. This single light cruiser, uh, we're going to, yeah, just have them keep going straight. And these destroyers, whoa, what are you, where are you going? I want you to go straight. Steam, steam quickly. There we go. Once again, we want to keep our battleships at arm's length. We want to come in close and screen with the destroyers and the, and the cruisers and let the battleships hammer them from far away while the destroyers that are more quick, quick and maneuverable can... Uh, get in and, and hit them as well. She's going to slow these guys down a little bit. Let the this group right here kind of cut in front. Hopefully they're not running from me. But let's speed up time a little bit. I think I just heard uh, somebody shoot. I don't see any splashes. Could be wrong. All right, let's keep going. We're slowing time down again to speed up our battleships. I don't want we want them to laying. I don't want them to fall too far behind. We'll go ahead and speed them up to their max. I'm gonna make them kind of follow along. Smoke is spotted to the southwest. That's pretty much that way. So we should see them anytime. Let's go really fast, time compression. All right, okay. So we have started shooting. And they have started shooting, I believe. Destroyers are gonna angle in straight form. Not sure what I just did, but I think I just I did have four divisions, now I have three. Um, so these cruisers are gonna go this way. They are already engaging, that is great. This cruiser, he can go straight in. And our battleships that have already opened up. Okay, they formed up with uh, these cruisers over here for some reason, let's see. I don't want that to happen. So I need to bust out, how do I do that? I need to have them attach, detach, there we go. This mechanic could be a little better as far as the ships being in what, like, I wish I can click and drag them. Uh, like, this one I want to join, that one. Uh oh, now what I, now what I do. Apparently you can't click and drag them. Okay, they formed up again. Oh, they. Alright, so, no, don't form up, form up your own thing. Okay, so this one goes with this one. Alright, I'm gonna pause it, oh, I can't, can't, can't pause it, detach. Okay, this battleship, detach. Okay. Now, freeze home. All right, there we go. I think now we got them situated. I'm gonna kind of angle this way, like that. Whoa, oh wow. Boy, they close so much faster. Oh, turn, turn hard. Incoming torpedo. We launched our torpedoes, dud. Oh no, it hit, nice. We got more torpedoes being launched. Oh yeah, there we go. Good hits. That That is a dead ship right there. He's a better be. All right, we switched uh, flagships here, yep. All right, it's going down. Straight there. there we go. It turned around. This heavy cruiser turned around. It's running from us. Awesome. Destroyers. Torpedo tubes are loading. Going really slow to do so. That's all right. Let's kind of angle away. Kind of drive in with our heavy cruisers. See where our battleships are at here. We're gonna start getting in a little bit closer here. Zoom back over to our destroyers as they duke it out with this heavy cruiser. Torpedo tubes still got a little bit of time to go, and I'm not sure if we have any actually loaded. Yeah, they fired them all off. Get the Des Moines up here, this light cruiser. Start hammering them. Those are the shells from the battleship. Took a good hit there on that light cruiser, unfortunately. Torpedo. Okay, we're good. Straighten back out. Hopefully they only fired one. We do have torpedoes on this boat, so let's get actually get in there. Are we within torpedo range? We are within torpedo range. I don't remember exactly where they're mounted, but uh, I can't remember if I put them on the bow or the stern is what I'm getting at. I know they're on the sides. Kind of cut in a little bit here, close that distance. Hopefully they can get a shot off the torpedoes. Wow, our destroyers are getting kind of far away here. They are done loading their torpedo tubes too, so let's crank back around and we'll see if we can engage them with the torpedoes. All right, and our heavy cruisers looks like they're coming in as well. Firing with their big guns. Let's go sh Well, we don't need to go straight at them. We'll kind of, yeah, we're, we're on a good course for them. And our battleships are way back here, which is great. But I'm actually now going to angle them to uh, bring that rear turrets into range. Wow, they just took a lot of damage. Nice, good jobs, good hits. That's why I like those little guns. 
those little three inch guns. I like the five inch guns, but I couldn't get them, I believe. So I use three inch guns. It's like a little machine gun and it's just death by a million cuts. They fire quick, there's a lot of them and the damage just builds up. Super cool. All right, let's check our destroyers here. See how they're coming in. Why don't you go straight at them? Oh, we're gonna go that way. Ooh, that's a big hit. Still have that 11 inch gun. That will hurt if it hits us. Destroyer's coming in. Hopefully they can do a torpedo run. We're gonna turn. Good hits. Oh yes. We may not get these torpedoes off. There they go. Torpedoes away. That's a dead ship right here. Boom. There we go. Battle is over. All right, the first battle of the war. It looks like uh, we won. Granted, we only went up against two ships with our rather large fleet. Go ahead and exit. All right, here's our our page. Close. They want a peace treaty. Nope. We got uh, six crew from the Des Moines saved. That's great. Transport losses. Let's see. Are we in here? Yes, we are. We lost four in the Southeast Asia. Close. Terrible accident. Ooh. Okay. Maybe I should turn those back on. Oh, good. Okay, here we go. Ooh. We are losing this battle in the Marshall Islands. We'll get over there here real soon. First, let's turn these to uh, restricted close. I thought it was restricted. Okay. Unless it was this one? We'll turn them on restricted. I really don't know if it actually means anything. I mean, is it so terrible to have that accident? I don't, I don't know. We'll just turn them all back to restricted. While we're over here on this side of the map, we'll zoom way in here. Take a look. See what's going on. So yeah, we have a 40% chance of doing it. We have all the tonnage there. So I don't know if we're gonna actually win this one or not. We'll see. This one is, we're gonna win that one. We have to. We don't have any ships at that one. And we have this other submarine battle going on here, which we can't do anything about yet. All right, let's take a look at our politics tab. Not much has really changed. We are still allies with France and at war with Germany. Our relationship has decreased quite a bit actually. Uh, we were at 97 with Japan, so that's not great. Finances, we're crushing it. Research, mines in three months, hull construction another three months. Ship design, nothing has changed. We need to change that. Fleet, nothing has changed. And submarines, we're still building these two. We have a couple submarines in battle. We have four of them in battle now. Wow. North Oceania, okay. We have Mediterranean, Southeast Asia. Where is this North Ocean Oceania? Is that what this is? No, that's Southeast Asia. Okay. Oh, that must be this one here. Yeah, it's those two submarines that are that are here. Cool. Hopefully they'll do some damage to these ships, whatever they are. Um, oh, it's one destroyer. Hopefully we can sink that one destroyer. That'd be great. All right. Well, let's go into February. British hit mines, Germany hit mines, Italians hit mines. And that's it. Close. Lots of transport losses. And we lost none. I did not see our name in here at all. Great. Terrible accident. Ooh. The unrestricted submarine warfare, United States. Okay, we need to fix that. Sweden signed an alliance with us. Yes. Finally. Close. All right. Okay, this province right here of the British Empire was lost um, to the German Empire. That's not good for Britain. And France took one. And we are losing the Marshall Islands. The Battle of Cuba, we are winning. Okay. So, let's see here. Want to fight this or something? Let's check our ships. Oh, we're good on just about everything. We have a, the Des Moines got some damage to it, but it's fine. Oh, that is super annoying, that screen that's popping up there. Um, It's one heavy cruiser. All right. We'll just let it sit there for a, for a minute. Give it a good turn. We got a submarine fight going on here, or that's just telling me that there's a submarine there. I don't know. Look around a little bit. I think it was this submarine again that we, uh, I, I forgot. Yeah. We'll turn that on restricted. I hit that German, or that uh, British ship. I really want to fight this battle. It keeps driving around it. I don't want to drive around it. Get my submarine out of there. Okay. Oh, we got a 54% chance to succeed now. We got about two more turns. It says, well, maybe that's just one more turn. I don't know if it's four out of four, and then we go to the next turn, and it says we won. Politics tab. Let's take a look at it really quick. Uh, we're still fifth. Yeah, we're fifth from the bottom. Not much has changed here. Finances, still crushing it. Research, nothing has changed. Ship design, nothing has changed. We need to fix that. Fleet, 
Uh, again, nothing has changed. Submarines, we are now commissioning a couple, uh, a couple more here in Norfolk and Pearl Harbor. Go ahead, next turn. Okay, so it looks like the um, the Germans just did a revolution, and they got rid of Max von Molt Moltke and replaced him with Felix von Moltke. So, huh, that's interesting. All right, finally. All right, let's fight this battle. Battle. All right, here we have our two battleships, four heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, and eight destroyers going up against two heavy cruisers, one light cruiser, and one destroyer. This should be a quick battle. Start battle. All right, we got the Maryland here leading the charge. Smoke has been spotted to the southwest, which is kind of over that way. So we're going to actually angle them that way. We'll take a look at these... Division 3 here is our heavy cruisers. We'll head them there too. And where's our destroyers at? We got a whole bunch of destroyers. That's fantastic. They're going to scream ahead. I'm going to keep them on their current path here. Light cruisers go up that way. And our one heavy cruiser, you're going to fall back. Actually, you're going to attach to the battleships. We'll do that. Why are you turning? Let's slow you down. Try to avoid a collision here. Oh, but no. Not much I can do about it now. Boom. <laughs> I, I slowed him down, but I was... Yeah, I screwed that up. That was completely my fault. I could have turned him. Just had to separate him out and turn him. So we had another collision here, perhaps. Okay, no, you just go this way. It's okay. All right. I think we're looking pretty good now as far as getting our act together here. Actually, I want this one to detach and I want it to... Are you hurt? No, oh, you don't look to be hurt. Oh, you're just going slow. And right, we can speed you back up. I'm going to attach you to this one. All right, keep the heavy cruisers together. Keep the battleships together. Keep the... Oh my goodness. Keep the destroyers together. And they're, they're welded together now. Keep our, our light cruisers together. Wow, what a cluster. All right. I wish they did a little better job of avoiding each other. Like, I get, I told them to go in a straight line, but come on now. Seriously, you're just going to bounce off them. At least they're not getting damaged. Could be worse, but I need them to be in formation. Oh, for the love. I slowed them way down. Get out of my formation. Okay, we got contact. We have opened up. Get our destroyers heading that direction. It'll be another cluster, I'm sure. Light cruisers hooked that way. Battleships. Yeah, you're doing good, battleships. Heavy cruisers come in this way. We'll get online here. We'll get the destroyers coming in pretty quick. Get in tight. Same with our light cruisers. We'll circle or circle them with our uh, battleships and our heavy cruisers. I want our he our heavy cruisers on the inside and our battle cruiser or battleships on the uh, on the outside ring here. All right, they are raining down some shells on us already. We're gonna go ahead and pop smoke and we'll keep it aligned. All right, we're gonna send this this division is kind of gonna go this way a little bit more. I don't want them to get too close where they fire off their torpedoes and then we're stuck needing to reload. I want these guys coming here, shoot off their torpedoes, and then turn around and get out. I want them to all shoot it. Wow. We already screwed up that. Wow. Must have hit them something real hard. That's excellent. I'm sorry I missed it. Torpedoes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, good. Got torpedoes. Okay, we got our torpedoes off. Excellent. We'll run this line. Where's our other destroyers? Other destroyers now will come in this way. Actually, a button hook this way. Hopefully we don't run into our own guys or these torpedoes. We got lots of torpedoes in the water. Most of them are ours, which is excellent. It's like they might have hit each other. Told our destroyers to turn and kind of head away from the battle now. We're going to let this line come in and do their torpedo run. Hopefully they can weave in the formation here. We are definitely putting a hurting on them. Ooh, not good. Flash fire. All right, we got one of theirs, but they're going to get one of ours too, I think. Well, no, the fire went out, so that's good. Heavy cruiser's coming in. We got two of them sinking. Destroyer looks like it's making a run for it. I don't think so. These guys don't have their torpedoes left. The send in our heavy cruiser here. Heavy cruiser division. Launching torpedoes. Wow. That's bold of you. Oh, this little port destroyer is not going to make it. Here comes our destroyers. They don't have any torpedoes. They do have a uh, have some guns sinking. Perfect. All right, destroyers, go that way. Heavy cruiser coming in. Try to avoid hitting a bunch of destroyers. That one just launches torpedoes. That's awesome. 
That's that one. No, it's not. What, which one had the fire? I think it was that one. Torpedo coming in. Might hit. Oh, it's a dud. It's just getting pummeled. Oh, no. Part over. Ooh. Wow. Destroyers are launching torpedoes. They got, apparently got them reloaded. Nice. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I was close. All right. We won. Well, despite my horrible naval tactics, uh, we still won. We didn't lose anybody. We did take some damage on this one destroyer quite quite significantly, but uh, we, we did win it. All right, there we go. Looks like we got some crew saved, so that's great. And British is hitting mines. France is hitting mines. Germany's hitting mines. The Italians are hitting a lot of mines, and that's about it. Transport losses. I did not see us on there. Oh, we did. We lost one. All right. British Empire, yay. We got control of the Marshall Islands. Holy cow. We actually did it. That is great. Battle of Cuba is still raging. All right. They still have a fleet here for some reason. I thought that was a fleet we just battled. Yeah, I thought we sunk them, but apparently not. Let's see. This one is still raging. Eight out of 11. And now we have the Marshall Islands. Excellent. Let's go to the politics tabs. Let's see what else we can take from the, from the Germans here. Naval invasion. Choose Providence. Western Samoa. Yep, we're going to do it. Yep. Finances. Uh, we're, we're raking it in. Research. We've got some whole construction coming up. Explosives. Torpedo pr propulsion coming pretty soon. Mines in one turn. That's about it. Ship design. Nothing has changed. Fleet. Nothing hit. Well, Tunis. Oh, okay. Now he's repairing. And Tunis, so that's great. He's got two months until he's repaired. And we have two submarines that are currently in battle over the other side here. Over here. This little fleet here. Not that one. This one. Let's see. We're going to move. We're going to take the Des Moines back to Manila. Move. The rest of our fleet. Let's see. That's the new German flag, it looks like. We're going to sail them. Nope. Oh, no. I need to select the other fleet. Okay, well, I guess I'll have to do it next turn after the Des Moines gets out of the way. So, and we're going to take Samoa, so hopefully soon. Let's go next turn. Wow. So war has erupted between Japan and China. We lost favor with China, but we gained some with Japan. Okay, we got some oxy gas welding. That is great. Advanced mines, too. Looks like Britain is still hitting mines. Germany's hitting mines. The Italians just can't stay away from them. And transport losses, none for us. Yay. Low crew ships. Yeah, let's go take a look at that here real soon. All right, here we go for Western Samoa. Uh, we failed to gain control of Venezuela. I figured it's going to take too long. That's okay. Like I said, I'd rather have Cuba, which we are winning. All right, now we need to get our ships over there. Not that one. Not that one. This one, move. Get it going there. There's our conquest in Cuba. Nine out of 11. Submarine here. And our naval invasion. Oh, okay. We will take our ships from the from this one and just bring them down here. Easy peasy. Perfect. All right. So we've got our ship movements going. Let's take a look at that destroyer who is apparently trying to repair in Tunis. Should be in this one here. I'm not seeing it. Did it split out and go there on its own? It did. Okay. It's got a crew of 65. And it is getting damage repaired. That's cool that it kind of split off by itself and just kind of steamed over there, you know, right next to enemy fleets and stuff. That's awesome. All right. Take a look at our politics tab just for fun. Not a lot has changed. I'm going to try and improve our relationship with Great Britain. Here we go. Finances, still crushing it. Research, got new engines coming up here pretty soon. Ship design, we really need to come up with a design to refit these ships. But again, I don't want to recall them just yet to get that done okay we got this one here des moines is repairing as well two months that's all it's changed submarines there we go cancel there we go so with nothing else happening let us actually we'll go one more turn our our uh, tensions have increased with the austro-hungarian empire for being in the southeast asia empire japan has really admired the power of our nation and wishes to become our ally what is your opinion um yeah I mean, we don't have to pay him anything, so that's good. Alliance. Yay. This poor little ship. I'm going to fight it. You know, I'm just... I'm going to auto-resolve it. Yeah, we sunk him. That's good. That didn't say, you know, 
and he sunk a battleship or something and got away. All right, we got the geared steam turbines. That's good. Electrical mechanical analog computer. Yay. Wet heat propulsion. That's our, our torpedo propulsion here. We got a bunch of saved crew. That must be from the battle with the uh, that destroyer. All right. Transport losses. We lost two in the in the Southeast Asia. Our instinct was right, and we got a couple more uh, points with British. Major offensive. Wow, okay, so the Chinese has launched an attack against Japan. Now, we are allies with them, so that means we have to go to their aid. Here we have the Battle, battle of Western Samoa and the Battle of Cuba, and we are winning both. I see this. I'm going to bring up, I think he's just cruising by, but uh, yeah, pull out my fleet there and get him. Brought the rest of my fleet over here as well, trying to see if I can get this island. We'll see. But here is that major offensive against the Japanese. I don't think I'm at war. Let's check our politics. I don't think I'm at war with China just yet. Yeah, I know we're negative 15, so there's not much I could do anyway. We do have Sweden as our minor ally, finally. Yay. Finances. Still crushing it. Research, doing good. Ship design, nothing has changed. We've got low crew. We'll bring the crew all the way up. There we go. Submarines, nothing has changed there. Perfect. All right. Well, it is May 1915, and things are looking pretty good. We are at war, but we are doing very well. That destroyer over there. Looking around, looking for other big fleets. There's a battleship. We're going to get that battleship. They got their capital ships. Make it really hurt. Here's a Japanese ship. That's cool. So, anyway, uh, I do need to refit these ships, but again, all of our ships are actually out at sea, and refit is a good time during peacetime to do that. And we may not see peacetime for a long time, so here real soon we'll have to refit them uh, regardless. And I'm also hesitating on building new ships uh, because of that reason. So I could build a bunch more uh, cruisers and destroyers and battleships and whatnot. We definitely have the finances for it, but I, uh, I want to make sure that we get the latest and greatest first. And so we need to come up with that refit design, refit what we have, then build new, sh new ships. It's kind of what my, my thought process is. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this episode. We're finally at war. Got to see some action. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.